Hi everybody! Today I am going to be doing a TJ Maxx um, haul and I'm happy about this haul but I'm really super pissed at the employees at TJ Maxx and I'm going to tell you guys why. So let me just kind of back up a little bit. Um, if you guys watch my previous videos you will know that I have been looking for dog steps steps that are carpeted that are freestanding and that are leading up um so my five pound uh shih tzu can get into my bed because she's been having some problems so um let's see let's make a really really long story completely short um a few months ago went into tj maxx was looking for stairs asked the guy couldn't find them, didn't have them. They had these ones that were wooden that hooked onto the back of a truck. Wasn't what I was looking for, so I said I'll call back later. Called back a few weeks later. The woman said, oh yeah, we have some. And I said, are you sure they're not the ones for the truck? And she said, nope, they're not. I said, are they the wooden ones? Nope, they're not. Went in all the way to TJ Maxx, which is like 15 minutes away from my home. Sure as shit, they were the same ones pissed off really pissed off left the store pissed off still bought some stuff so now let's um fast forward on to where we are now um it has been about a month since then um two weeks ago i had called tj maxx and i said look i've been having a lot of problems trying to find these goddamn stairs i need them for my dog i know you guys carry them like sometimes you carry them sometimes they don't so I said, let me give you my name and number. You call me the second you get these steps. The woman's like, okay, yes, I'm so, so sorry that this had happened to you, blah, blah, blah. So lo and behold, I've been waiting for the call, waiting for the call, nothing. I wanted to look for some fingernail polish at TJ Maxx. Decided to go today. Lo and behold, there were my stairs. The ones that I have been looking for forever. And they had them. And I'm pissed. So I grabbed the son of a bitches. Um, well, the first things first, I looked and I was like, oh, carpeted uh, freestanding stairs. Exactly what I wanted. Awesome. So then I looked at the tag. Here is the tag. The tag on the back says that they were $80 compared to our price, $39.99. I was like, awesome. Then I look at this tag down here. What does it say? Doggy steps. Read it. Doggy steps. So I quick bought them and I thought, oh, this is going to be awesome. Um, they were, you know, $40, not too bad, a little bit higher than the price that I kind of wanted to go. But these are like probably literally 80 pounds. Um, they're heavy. They're carpeted. I'm going to show you guys in a second here. Let me just show you real quick. If you guys can see, there they are. So there are the stairs. There's three huge stairs. They're carpeted. They're awesome. Okay, so let me just adjust you guys real quick. Okay, so got the stairs, came home, looked at the tag, perfect, P-U-R-R, -R, for lounging, scratching, and playing. And I'm like, what? Designed to entertain cats for hours on end, catnip treated. I was so excited I didn't look at the goddamn tag. I should have seen the catnip. Whatever. Got them. My dog doesn't seem to mind the catnip. I'm happy. I don't have to deal with TJ Maxx uh, in the animal department anymore. So F them. I got them. So that was the story about the steps. So that's my first item were cat steps for my dog, which is okay. Second complete find that I was like, yay, so excited about. Okay. This is my Vera Bradley bag that I carry in the fall. It is bowler and it's Moulin Rouge and I love it. I, I just, I love it. I wish I could find more of these, but I can't. Okay, so I'm like sitting there. I got all my purchases. I'm walking through trying to ring up. Lo and behold, I see the iPhone cases. I was like, son of a bitch, is that what I see? And mind you, this is Vera Bradley. Vera Bradley, like, phone cases are so expensive like they're literally almost 40 bucks and look what I found it matches it literally to a T it's brown like the brown in here 
um, black outline and like roses, flowers, the same color as this. Check that out, you guys. So this was originally $34.95. It's not uh, Vera Bradley, but originally, um, let's see, $34.95 comparable to, and then it says that it's uh, $7.99. So this is an awesome, awesome find. I was really highly impressed with this. Um, so we got it. So next um, I needed more doggy bags because, you know, we have to clean up poop in style. So I got um, these bags and there's more of these in here than I got for the set um, in my other haul. And these were $6.99 compared to $14, which... I don't know. Their compared prices are like iffy skiffy. Okay, so mama needed a spatula. So I got a spatula. Um, $4.99 compared to $10. This is a IPAC Italian Design Professional Series. I don't know anything about IPAC. Um, oh, I, IPAC Italy. Whatever. It's good. It's metal. It, it went in my car. Okay. The next is Chi. I got Chi, I think, shampoo and conditioner. I don't even know. Um, okay. So the first one is Chi Nourish Intense Hydrating Silk Bath for Dry and Damaged Hair. It doesn't say shampoo, but I'm guessing that that's what it is. Um, this huge 32 fluid ounce was $14.99. So that was a good price. And on here it just says, for directions, apply a small amount of Chi Hydrating Silk Bath to wet hair and work into a rich lather. Rinse thoroughly and repeat if desired. So I'm guessing that this is shampoo because this is um, the directions that you would use for shampoo. So I'm guessing that's what it is. And then I got this Chi Infra Treatment. Looks like this. And this, I think, is the conditioner because it says... After shampooing the hair, apply a generous amount of Chi Infra Treatment and work into the hair evenly. Leave on hair for two to five minutes and rinse. So this has to be the conditioner. I know they're not the same, like one is Nourish Intense and one is Infra Treatment or whatever, but shoot, for $14.99, you can't go wrong. So I grabbed me some. Next, um, and certainly not least, well last, kind of I guess you could say, are the Essie nail polishes now they had a shit ton by the um, checkout area so I missed some in the beauty section or they didn't have that many but then when I went to the checkout they had a bunch so the first one I'm going to show you guys is called very structured and this one is like a brown with iridescent kind of you see it there um I take that back. This does not have any iridescent to it, but it's brown, and I thought, come fall, this may be pretty. I don't know. What do you guys think? Um, I have never worn brown fingernail polish before, but I thought I would give it a try. Um, all these nail polishes were only $3.99, so there's the brown one. Then I got this beautiful, it's called Tennis Corset. It's white with like this glitter sheeny shine to it. And that's really, really super pretty. Again, $3.99. Then I got this one called Infatuation. And I can't remember if I got this one before, but it's like a pinky, peachy kind of color, I guess you could say. Like a pinky peach. I thought that would be good for fall. It's not really bright. So, and then this last one is kind of gray and it's called Main Squeeze. And, oh, and this again, it's gr like a grayish white, but then it has a purple sheen to it. I don't know if you guys can tell on camera, but I just love it. I think this is going to be so pretty in the winter, um, like when it snows. I don't know if you can see how it's like sheeny, shiny kind of. I don't know. It's really pretty. So, that was my haul. TJ Maxx, suck it. TJ Maxx employees, suck it. TJ Maxx store, I love. I love you guys. Um, 
I wish we had a TJ Maxx closer to me, but we don't. So that's pretty much my haul. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave comments, questions, subscribe to my channel, thumbs up my channel, everything else. And thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.